Welcome to the Comic Book Shop of Doom. I'm your host. This is another episode of Unboxing, where we get something in the mail and we open it up. It's uh, from the store, eBay, or ordered it somewhere online. So this video is not for children, so if you're under 13, please get your parents' permission to watch this. These videos are made for collectors. So it's, you know, older people usually, but if kids want to watch this, please get your parents' permission. I don't need a $40,000 fine from COPA, YouTube, the government, if I say some salty things in these videos. So let's open this up. What do we got in the mail here? I cut it open already so it's easy to slide out. So you don't have to watch me fight. Okay, let's see. in here this is a picture of Dino De Laurentiis and who's the other guy Eric Johnson president of motion pictures Association of America on a visit to De Laurentiis new studio complex now under construction some 13 miles south of Rome First new film to be built anywhere in the world in many years. Johnson congratulated the talent producer on his faith in the future of the industry. So it's where they were this they were filming the Bible here. So Dino De Laurentiis was always I was always a fan of his stuff. And um he went corporate in the nineteen eighties. They bought embassy pictures. Uh they got it really cheap from Coca Cola. And um uh, He was making movies since the end of World War II in Italy. And then he started coming to America when they had a fascist regime in Italy. But when he was there in the 60s, he built this huge movie studio. And it was the most modern movie studio in the world. And he operated it until the 70s. Well, then when the regime change came in and they, they were cutting off tax breaks and stuff, he jumped ship to New York, and he was making movies in the United States, and he left. Uh, it was called Dino Cita. Dino Cita. So basically, it's, it's Dino City, and um, it's still there in Rome. I forgot who owns it now, but Charles Band from Empire Pictures, he bought it in the 80s, and he had it for a couple of years, and he was making his horror movies there, and uh, the place was huge, and it's one of these... Um, studios in Italy, like you said, 13 miles south of uh, Rome. And I was actually supposed to go there this year. We were going to go to Europe on a vacation. My wife is from Poland and her parents still live there. And we were going to go see them and we were going to do a side trip to Italy because I want to see this studio. And it's still there and they actually built a theme park there too. So really interesting time period. Um, Huge back lot, you know, tons of space. They and, and Dino De Laurentiis did like Barbarella. He filmed that there. He did the Bible. They did Barabbas. Uh, a lot of movies. And then it was empty for 10 years. And Charles Band bought it. And then they did um, Cellar Dweller, From Beyond, uh, Ghoulies 2, um, tons of tons of the Empire movies were filmed there, and it it still exists today. But uh, at one point, it was the most modern film studio in the world. It was huge, so I got this as a collectible too. And um, like I said, I'm going to do a movie museum eventually, movie and comic books, and uh, pop culture stuff. And uh, I'll put this in my piece. All right, thank you, and everybody have a good night.